subscribe, like, comment, and hit the notification. Hey friends, how are y'all? It is Super Bowl Sunday, and I just got back. I did grocery pickup, so I was gonna do a little H-E-B grocery haul, and I'm gonna do a little bit of meal prep. I'm gonna meal prep breakfast and a chicken salad for lunch, and then I'm also gonna meal prep my dinner, which will be like leftovers as well throughout the week. Um, we're doing, I think, a roast. Okay, let's get started. So when you say that's a small order, right? So that's everything I got from HEB, and that was $85. Isn't that ridiculous? I'm gonna have to go look at my receipt because that does not seem even feasible to me. Anyhow, let's get started. So I got two avocados, no recipes this week using these. We just like to snack on them. Two things of bananas, um, some trio of bell pepper. I can't remember if that's for a menu or not, but regardless, I eat them just uh, as a side with my sandwiches and everything throughout the week. I got my favorite sesame sweet Asian salad, and that is five points per serving. I got some red new potatoes that will go into my recipe tonight. I'll have to weigh those and get the exact points on that. Um, I got my husband five uh, red pears. I got a huge thing of fresh blueberries, and this was like really cheap. It was like a dollar or something, so that's awesome. Not so cheap was these baby Bellas, which I just love baby Bella. Um, you can definitely get them much cheaper at Walmart and Trader Joe's, but you know it is what it is. I'm going to add these to my breakfast prep this week and in another recipe later in the week. Got two onions. They'll be used for dinner prep tonight and another recipe. Got a bag of carrots. That'll be used for dinner prep tonight. Got some eggs. Always need eggs. These will be in my breakfast prep and then I'll also just eat them throughout the week. Um, this I bought because there was a coupon, this and the pizzas in the back. If you spent 15, I think you got five off or something. And my husband really likes these. I was actually surprised. The serving size is only three points, which is three of them. So not too terrible. If you just had those, maybe a side salad and some avocado or something. Uh, so it's doable. I just don't really care for them. Okay, and then his TV dinners from the week. I did like the least point friendly to the most point friendly. So this banquet meal is scans in at 14 points. And as always, I'm just scanning. I'm not checking the nutrition facts. So if you're considering eat these, please check the nutrition facts. Um, this King Ranch style chicken, it is 12 points. So those are not Weight Watchers friendlies, but here I got him two new ones that kind of are shrimp fajitas. He, I figured he'd really like this and it's only seven points. So that's great. Um, and then this one, I probably should have tried for myself. It's Mexican style street corn and it is only two points. So look out for that one for sure. Okay. And now for the pizzas, we really love the Midtown pizzas. They're not heavy at all. And a third of this four cheese you can have for 13 points. And then I also picked up the blank, just pizza crust and you can have half of this for six points. So isn't that awesome? So you can build your own pizza. If you keep the toppings low, you know, you can probably have a 10 point serving for half a pizza. Uh, I got my husband one box of cereal. He loves chocolate Lucky Charms. Six points for the serving. Woo, sorry. He eats one of these every day at lunch. Nine points, not very healthy at all. You, it looks like he eats really unhealthy, but the funny thing is, is he eats a ton of fruit and he doesn't eat sugar. Um, well, actually coffee, soda, that things, but this is definitely sugar, but that's, that's for him. Okay. I am making chicken salad as a meal prep this week and I have never used canned chicken, but in Costco last week, they were sampling a chicken salad made with canned chicken. It was really good. So I'm going to go for it. I'll let you know how that turns out, but that is zero points. Got some green beans. Those are mainly for my dog Rio, but we'll eat these too. My husband, some milk, and it's six points for a cup. Dang, how is that $80? Like, how? Please, someone, what? What is $80? Like, I don't even understand how that's possible. Okay, since I'm already doing a grocery haul, 
I will throw in all the Valentines. Now, this is my Target order. Everything just happens to be pink, not necessarily on purpose. I just needed some shampoo and conditioner. So I just went head up and picked up this Monday. I've never tried this brand, but I do, oh, there we go. I definitely have dry damaged hair. So I, it wasn't too expensive. Um, it's like 750. Usually I just use like really cheap, like Pantene or something like that. But I figured that was like mid grade, a little lower than mid grade. So I'd give it a go. I do like this powder and I was needing some more powder. So I just picked this up. It's like seven bucks, pretty good. Okay. Um, I have had two Alani new shakes. I've had the munchie and the chocolate both in coffee and I really like them. So I went ahead and picked up the other three flavors and they all are four points. So I got a vanilla, I got a fruity cereal, which I don't think that may be very good in coffee, but the other ones will be. And then cookies and cream. So I'm excited to try all those for sure. I just wish they weren't so expensive. They're like $3 each. But maybe that's just the going away and I'm just not used to that. I'm not just, I'm not used to spending like $3 on one drink. Okay, everything else, uh, no. Okay, these, I really like crisp, but like these, I haven't tried these, but they are three points per serving, so three crisp, but basically a point each. I love these with goat cheese and I have goat cheese, but I ran out of my other brand of these. So I picked them up to try and then everything else, I have right here is for my husband for Valentine's Day. I'm building this little um, goodie bag. I'll show you a picture of it because I'm going to do it right when I finish here. He loves sugar cookies iced like this. So I picked up these minis and you can have two cookies for six points. Um, I just got him this little heart, Ruck Stover's heart. I didn't scan them, sorry. But I wanted to get him some fun beer, but they didn't have any. But they did have this spiked cold brew. And the alcohol content is very high, I feel like. But one can's only five points, so that's pretty good for an alcoholic drink. So I just gotta make sure he knows that coffee is spiked so he doesn't drink it before work, right? Okay, this I saw and absolutely knew I had to buy him. His favorite, uh, his favorite flavor profile is like chocolate banana. And so Dutch chocolate banana, this sounds amazing. But it's 350 calories for one bottle. And it is 14 points. So, I mean, this is definitely not healthy. I mean, it may be, but it's, I would say this is like not a snack. This is a meal replacement. <laughs> okay. Um, I got him these strawberry peeps. Those sounded good for him. I actually don't like chocolate covered strawberries. He just had one of these for the first time recently and loved them. So I picked up a four count of those. Um, some Reese's hearts. Um, this little chocolate bar and I was late to the Valentine's game. There was not much to choose from and then I Saw this strawberries and cream soda. So I added this as well He was telling me about it and I don't like cream soda, but I'm a huge Dr. Pepper fan uh, The whole thing was what can I read? This the bottle is 19 points, but I just had to try it. I'm not going to try it today I'll probably just drink a little at once or something like that or do a taste test with other people we just wanted to give it a go. Okay. Then I had more time to kill before my grocery order was ready. So I just went to the Dollar Tree. I actually went to go get a few girlfriends uh, cards. But while I was there, I just picked up these lollipops and they're two points each. I like having lollipops at work when I'm sitting in my office. So I figured these, I'd give them a go. Uh, I went ahead and got two things that got Godiva chocolate and there's three chocolates in here and they're nine points. So they're three each. There's a dark chocolate and a light chocolate. I'm gonna add those to my husband's V-Day thing. You'll see, I'm gonna make it. And then I used to love these in high school and I haven't seen them in forever. And when I looked at the nutrition, they were only 100 calories each, so I thought it'd be a good snack. But they do scan for five points. But, you know, this is something I haven't had in 20 years. I just wanted to give it a go and see what I, what I thought today about it. Okay. We'll go ahead and continue to the fun stuff. Why not? So Target had put out their Easter stuff. So I went ahead and got, you know, these little decors. They're for decorating trays and whatnot. I like that they sell these because it makes like decorating a whole tray much easier. Um, I got this little tree. I thought it was cute. I'm going to take it to work. I like having a tiny decor section at my office. It just makes me smile. I thought these carrots were pretty. So I went ahead and grabbed those. 
I'm gonna take these little rabbits with my tree. Again, I just like having a little something and I like these simple rabbits. But look at the tray, isn't that tray too cute? I thought it was so cute. So, they're folded up so it won't come assembled like this, this two-tier tray, but you definitely need um, to get you one. <laughs> and then I picked up this for my office door. I'm usually not a fan of this wood. I don't even know what, like this natural reef, but for some reason I kind of like this one. Is it cute? Do y'all think it's cute? I don't know. Okay, this was like, I was pressured. Everyone was raving over these little, it's supposed to be like an old school, like I think popcorn or candy dispenser or something. But like everyone was grabbing one, talking about how darling they were. So ultimately I just grabbed one too, but I'm thinking I'll take it to my office and I'll put some candy in it or something. Okay, <laughs> these are little wind up uh, toys. A little bunny and chicken. I only got those because I want to see the dog's reaction. That's the sole reason. <laughs> okay, let's get this meal prep on the road. I'm gonna start with breakfast. And I am just so tired. I stayed up last night until like three, um, messing with YouTube stuff. I built an intro and things like that. Um, I don't know, I was just playing around. Let me know, I'll know if you like it. But I am craving egg cups this week. So I'm just gonna keep it real simple. I'm gonna do a little uh, onion. Just, you don't need many vegetables for egg cups. Um, there's just not a lot of room in the bottom of the egg cup. <laughs> So I just use whatever I have left over from the week. This week it's peppers and onions. Uh, I've really also enjoyed putting, um, oh, what is it called? Zucchini in it. But like I didn't go out of my way to buy fresh zucchini because I knew I had leftover peppers. But, and one of the other favorite things I love putting in egg cups is uh, mushrooms. And so since I'm using mushrooms for something else this week, I went ahead and um, I'm going to add them to this too. I wish I liked white button mushrooms as much as I do other ones because they are so much cheaper. I just don't like them. I have always, like when I was younger, I always said I hated mushrooms. Turns out I just don't like white button mushrooms. I like all the others. So I'm just giving these a rough chop. Like I said, I stayed up late last night and I've been running around running errands all day. I've worked out, I've taken my dogs for a walk. I've gotten my nails done. I um, went to like three stores, so I am tired. I haven't just sat. So I'm trying to rush and get everything done before the Super Bowl. Even though my beloved Cowboys are not in, so it's less exciting for me, but I'm still gonna watch it. Okay, and then I'm probably going to do, I don't know, four slices of Canadian bacon. I'm trying to aim for around 12 egg cups, but it's always variable how many I get. Because, you know, eggs are different sizes, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so that's what's going to go in my egg cups along with a little bit of fat free, fat free feta cheese. Now, let's do the eggs. And I got six eggs. So get these cracked. Splash of almond milk. And like I said a million times, I use the unsweetened vanilla even in cooking. I don't notice it. And then I'm gonna add liquid egg whites, about a cup. And I'm feeling too lazy to whisk, so I'm gonna use my immersion blender. Easy peasy. I just greased my cupcake tins. And I'm going to take my prepared ingredients. So as you can see, this ended up being a lot. And I'm just gonna try to divide it, like, like I'm doing the uh, onions first, just a little in each. And then I'll do a little bit of the Canadian bacon. I did this with breakfast ham not too long ago, and I have to say, I was not a fan. It was so salty. It like, so I highly suggest uh, Canadian bacon rather than breakfast salt, uh, ham for sure. 
I just had some left and I thought it would be so good and it was not. Okay, so I have all that divided and then I'm gonna do the same for the mushrooms. I think the mushrooms add a great texture. And then everything else, which is mainly just the peppers, I'll top that in too. Now you just have to slowly pour your egg mixture in and be careful and don't fill it to the top because they do rise. And this is where I either get lucky or not. I either have the perfect amount or I'm shy and have to make more egg. Looks like I'm probably going to be shy. That happens. <laughs> you know, you don't really know the size of eggs. Dang it. I'm either going to be, I may not be shy. We'll see. Oh. Ooh, dang, I may be perfect. Oh, wow, that's crazy. And the only other thing I like to do is sprinkle the fat-free feta. And I do like doing this at the end because I just like the texture when it's at the top. Okay, so I'm just gonna put these in my oven. My oven's at 350. Um, it always varies on the cooking time. I say anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. You just make sure the jiggle's gone. So here's the website I'm using my, for my roast. It's called nestinglane.com and it's a Weight Watchers Hearty Yankee Pot Roast. So this is what I'm going to follow. I'm just trying to see how long it cooks because it's four o'clock, you know, and it is a big chunk of meat. I hate how these websites are like this. Okay, there we go. Four and a half out, four hours. So I definitely need to get it going. Cook time, 340, so that's good. We like a lot of carrots in our roast, so I'm just filling some carrots. These, and yes, you could buy uh, baby carrots or carrot sticks or something like that. I just try to save money where I can. Stop on my carrots for a while, because I just read, and my first step in the pot roast is to like saute the roast with the onion in the Dutch oven. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to my onion for that. And it calls for two onions. I think that's like kind of a little overkill, even though we really like onions. So I'm just going to use one onion and um, what I have left over in this bag. So I just added my three and a half pound roast to my Dutch oven that has cooking spray. Okay. And then to this, I'm just going to add my onion. So that's just going to cook. I'm going to flip it for about eight minutes. While that cooks, I'm gonna come back over here to my carrots and I'm just gonna cut these up. Um, I think I'm gonna go in sticks. I've never done sticks, but that's how it is shown in their photos. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then potatoes, I'm just gonna kind of quarter them up as well. I'll leave them pretty big because you don't want them to fall apart. And to be honest, <laughs> I like them big so I can pick them out. I don't really care for potatoes and stuff like this. Um, I don't know why. I just don't, I just don't like it. But I add them. Like, they don't bother me. I just eat around them. But most people like it, so I add them. I think it's time for a flip. Ah. Ooh. Yeah, ooh, that smells lovely. That smells delicious when I flip it. I'm just going to give it like maybe three minutes on this side and then I'll add the next ingredients. Since I had leftover bell pepper from my egg cups, I just made a little snack box of cottage cheese, bell pepper, and cucumber. I typically would make multiple of these this week, but I am exhausted, so just one right now. I'm going to add the next ingredients to my um, pot roast, and it's one package of onion soup mix. Like I said, this is a totally new recipe to me, so hopefully it's good. And then one and a half tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. And this one's a real thick aged one, so I hope that's okay. Should be, right? And I really like balsamic vinegar, so I may actually do two tablespoons. That's like, eh, that's a little bit more than one and a half, not bad. And then a teaspoon of dried thyme. I'm not going to measure that. I'm just going to give it a good sprinkle. The last ingredient at this point is one and three-fourths cup of water. So it says to give it a stir, which is kind of hard to do, right? <laughs> With the meat in here, but I'll do my best. 
You know, I actually want to flip it so that side, all that balsamic's in the water. Ah. Okay, so you let this come to a boil, and once it comes to the boil, you put the lid on and you throw it in the oven. So let me just wait till it comes to a boil. So it's great timing because that is coming to a boil just as my egg cups are looking done. So I'm gonna pull these out and put the Dutch oven in. So let's put the other food in. So that will cook for an hour and a half at 350 degrees. After the hour and a half, that's when I'll add the rest of these. And yes, I'm adding the mushrooms, but I'll add the carrots and potatoes. And then when it's closer, I'll add the mushrooms, but I'm just going to leave them here. They'll be fine for an hour and a half. I'm not worried about it. Going to get these bad boys in a container. So there's the finished product and they only come to one point each and that is because of the canadian bacon and the fat-free cheese if you left out the fat-free cheese they would actually be zero points but i just make it easy and i say one point per egg cup but i'm so frustrated look how badly these stuck they never stick on me like even that one fell apart but i know i'm always raving about costco well last time we were there I saw this cooking spray and it's avocado and you know, avocado has a higher smoke point than um, uh, olive oil. So it's actually better for cooking at high temperature. So I bought this, uh, two things, it freaking sticks on everything. And second thing, it sprays so, it's like so hard to push it. That's the one thing bad about Costco is when you buy, sorry, I wanted to flip you around so you'd see my face. But that's one thing I've found that can be a negative about Costco is you buy such a large amount and if something doesn't work, you're kind of stuck with it. Granted, they have a great return policy, but we don't go that often. We go once a month. It's not that close to us. So by the time the month runs around, I totally forget and I hardly ever do that. But anyhow, I am, as much as I just want to go shower and get on the couch, I'm going to go ahead and try the uh, chicken. And all I'm going to do is put... This, light mayonnaise, onion. I wish I would've got celery. I didn't think about it, but that's it. I'm gonna keep it really, really simple for my chicken salad. So that's what it looks like out of the can. Um, kind of weird, and it did have water just like tuna does. I don't know, it just seems odd to me. Oh, <laughs> oh well, I like pepper. It just seems odd to me, but we'll give it a go. And I, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna start off with 30 grams. Oh, maybe not, that may be way too much. I'm gonna start off with one serving of this. Well, I'm gonna start off with 19 grams of this light Hellman's. I'll tell you what, this one does not have the same texture as the one we tried in the store. I don't know. This one almost seems like fake imitation crab, how it's like stringy, but who knows? Okay, I think that's enough mayonnaise. Or Miracle Whip. What, which one's this? No, it's mayonnaise. Okay, I'm going to add some diced onion. Probably about an eighth of a cup or so. Eh, I'll just go ahead and add it all. Fourth of a cup, let's say. I feel like more needs to go in here. Like, what else do you put in your chicken salad? I haven't made chicken salad in, like, so long. I know I'd put celery. I know you can put walnuts. Um, I actually have some walnuts. And I also have, um, I don't know, what else goes in it? I feel like I'm missing stuff. I don't have any grapes. I know I've had one with crushed pineapple and I have pineapple, but I just don't want to go too sweet. So I think I'm just going to keep it simple and I'm just going to stick with this. I just plan on eating it on a salad this week. So I'll let you know how it turns out, what I think about it. I just want something different. So we shall see. And I'm going to divide this between two portions. So I'm just going to count it as one point for the mayonnaise. So with bread, it'll be like a three point sandwich. So that's good. So this is what I came up with for my husband's little Valentine. Got the cold brew coffee, some beard stuff, you know, all the little candies I just put on sticks. The wooden crate we already have. I think I did that for another birthday or some other gift. And then just the little variety. And then the little strawberries will just have to be separate. 
and along with the cookies. But it's not as cute as I was hoping for, but it's not bad. And yes, he did get other items, um, but this is just a little something extra. So that's it. So I added the carrots and potatoes about an hour ago with the lid on they've been cooking. And I just took the lid off and added the mushrooms and I'm gonna put the lid back on and let it go for another hour. I added the mushrooms myself. They weren't in the original recipe, but it is smelling and looking delicious. So the meal prep roast is done. Doesn't look lovely. I'm gonna pull it out and slice it up. Okay, so I tasted the roast and it's really good, but it is super, super dry. Um, you'll have to let me know. I've never done Dutch oven roast. I've only ever done it in like a oven bag or a crock pot. But once it goes back in there, I'm sure it'll be good. But if you did eight servings out of this, we already took away two. I calculated nine points. Um, the website has less, but I don't know. I that's I came up with nine. So nine points and eight servings. I'll show you what my plate looks like. So that is one serving. So it's a hearty portion for nine points and it should be delicious. My hair is in the process of drying, so it's crazy. But anyhow, I hope you enjoyed today's Sunday meal prep and grocery haul and I will talk to y'all later. Bye friends.